Okay, so this is going to be my second time filming this video. Yay! Okay, so the first time my battery died on this camera, so then I moved the memory card into my other camera. That just didn't work because that doesn't have autofocus, so that was wonderful. So now we're coming back here to film it on this camera because now the battery has life again. So. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be telling you all I've... I already did this part, didn't I? Yeah, I did, but whatever. I am going to be telling you all of my advice and my experience on moving across the country. I feel so repetitive. So I was 23 when I moved across the country from Michigan to California. Um, I had graduated and worked for seven months and then I moved. I saved up about three thousand dollars i would say give or take you know uh, a little bit i'm not exactly sure okay i remember the day that i got the call for my apartment saying that i was approved and i did so much research to find this place it's crazy i looked up crime statistics i looked up about the job market where i would be able to find a job at because i had searched so much to find a job and applied at so many places but a lot of people don't want to hire a person that's out of state because they could not even move like or they could you know want money or i don't know but they just don't hire out of state unless you work for a corporate company and you're just transferring locations that is probably a little easier to move than my situation was because I didn't have that situation. And I wanted to move to Palm Springs originally, but then I was like, there aren't a whole lot of jobs for what I wanna do. And then I wanted to keep it in the interior design part instead of more working for myself, which we're getting to, which I mostly do like 80% of the time. But then I was like, oh, I could move to LA or, I could move to Orange County, which is eventually what I did. And so the day that I got the call for my apartment, the lady, I was actually on my way home from work driving and I remember it, it, the sun was setting, it was just perfect. And the, the lady calls me and she said, hi Paige, like you've got approved. And I was like, oh my God, are you serious? Like I was not gonna be able to move if you didn't like approve me and I was, so excited and I oh, I called my mom and I was like guess what I'm moving <laughs> I was so happy and so the day that I moved we woke up super early and packed literally everything that we could fit inside of my car and then we left we stopped in Nebraska and then we stopped in Las Vegas. We stayed in Las Vegas actually for an extra day and then we left that next morning and then made it to California and we actually had to move up my move-in day because we were going to arrive early. Yeah and then so I move in and I literally had nothing. I had my clothes, I had my you know dishware, I had like the little necessities. We had to go shopping that night for like little things like I needed toilet paper and I needed food and like laundry detergent and like little things like that. The, the little things that you, you know, when you first move into your first apartment, the things that you get. So we move, I move in and I literally had no furniture. I had my TV and an air mattress. We had to buy an air mattress because I didn't have anything to sleep on. I slept on that air mattress for a while, like a few months at least, before I was able to purchase my bed. But the first piece of furniture I got was within a week that I was there, I believe, I got a desk because I was like, I need somewhere to be able to work and do things and to be able to eat instead of just like eating on dinner on the floor. like that's boring and no one wants to do that. I wanted to feel like it was home and it eventually did get there near the end. But yeah, my rent there was $1,800. Could I have found something cheaper? Yes. Did I? No. I found the place and it was perfect. And I wanted something secure and safe in a good area for my first apartment, especially moving to a place I'd never been before. That's exactly what I got. 
so they had underground gated um parking and they had it was like a hotel it was so nice and it was so quiet and but it, it was expensive and it had washer and dryer inside the units which was amazing i actually have a video a vlog actually of i will link the one for i don't know where it goes but i'll link the one for the day that i moved out here the first vlog i ever made the worst vlog i ever made so that'll be up there and then i'll also link the video of me moving out of that first apartment so that you can at least see the process and actually what it looked like so i moved and i didn't have a job i applied so many places and had so many interviews if you go back to my previous vlogs from when i lived in orange county for when i first moved out here you'll see that every single day i was going to a new interview and it was rough because everyone seemed so nice and everyone seemed so into me like they were like we love it great like there were a few places that i wasn't really interested in but there were people that i was like oh i'm definitely gonna get this but i obviously didn't get any of them and i've never in my life had such a hard time finding a job Ever. There was one time that I actually had three interviews, I think in one or two days, like back to back, and all three of them called me on the same day. But I had already accepted one, thinking that was the only one that was going to call me. And later, another one that I actually really, really wanted called me. And I had to tell them no because they already took something from someone else. <sighs> but two weeks of getting no job i eventually got a job um at olive garden but that didn't work out i never actually went in it just eh. so didn't didn't do that i did have one job where i was like hired the same day and actually did work for this guy and i will link that story up here too because that's uh hmm <laughs> that was a day let me tell you so don't work there anymore then i don't know how long it took but then eventually i got the job at the old architectural firm that i used to work for in irvine i was there for a year and a half before i quit to come to palm springs I quit a very good paying job <laughs> to come here and i love it don't regret it at all and that's not me like i literally don't like i'm happy here now for my advice Number one, do not listen to other people. I mean, like, don't just listen to, like, me. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that when people are trying to downsize your dreams and your goals and telling you, you're not going to make it more than a few months, or your car's not going to make it across the country, I had a 2003 Dodge Neon, okay? I didn't even get a flat tire when I was moving out here. We didn't break down. I mean, we almost ran out of gas in Utah, but Utah's a stupid state. There's no, okay, we got into the state and there was literally no gas stations or stops, stop anything for like almost 200 miles. What if, like, my car only had 200 miles? Then we're out of luck. I, and it was in like the middle of the night. So that was awful everyone was like being so negative and i am the type of person that when i want something i'm gonna get it i'm gonna do it like you can't stop me the the whole like you telling me that i can't do it is going to make me want to do it even more well i did it i'm here and thriving over two years later so what do you got to say to that hmm <laughs> Sure, moving across the country isn't exactly for everybody. You know, make sure that you use, you know, proper logic when you're going into it. You know, make sure you have enough money. Make sure that you, you know where you're going. And make sure that you have, like, backup money because I did and didn't, but I did. And I was just fine. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt to other people's negative opinions. I don't know. You you do with other people's opinions what you will. That's that's you. That's you. 
definitely make sure you have extra money because I moved out without a job and I got one month free at my apartment as like a move-in special and I had one month paid plus my security deposit which was a lot of money and then I had one month free so I technically had two months to find a job or I was going to have to move home that would have been like definitely proving me as a failure which I am not so I got a job worked my butt off to get one and then was there and roughed it out and I was I, was, I, I worked it out and there are probably going to be days when you don't have a whole lot of money and you need to buy yourself groceries or you want to buy yourself little art decor for your apartment on a budget which I will also link above because I made a video on it. When I first moved out here, the Dollar Tree was my saving grace. And I am not joking. I didn't have a whole lot of money to go to the grocery store and buy full on complex nutritional meals because I needed to pay my bills. And if I didn't pay my rent, I didn't have a place to sleep. So if you go to Dollar Tree, my Dollar Tree at least, every single one that I've ever gone to, has a food section. Their spaghetti noodles are amazing. I actually preferred them for a while over the ones that I used to get at Target. And they have spaghetti sauce, the same exact kind that I would get from anywhere else, but for a dollar. And do you know how many meals of spaghetti that can make you? A lot. They have bread and peanut butter and jelly I lived off of that for a while. Um, they have like little frozen meals, like little like enchiladas and things, which are actually really good. They have cereal, they have snacks, they have juice, they have literally anything that you could really need if you are living on a very, very tight budget. So you could get like a week or two's worth of groceries and meals for like under 20 bucks. It's like $10 a week. That's great, especially if you are really struggling like I was. I think the biggest mistake I made was with my apartment and not finding something cheaper. I would have had so much more money and never fallen behind on anything and had more money to actually live instead of stressing the entire time if I had done that. But I didn't and lesson learned. I can't really think of any other advice that I would give. Nothing is coming to the top of my head. I've already made this video twice, so I probably am forgetting something, but I just like shortened it down a lot. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or message me on Instagram and I will do my best to help you with any concerns you may have with moving across the country. Well, that's all for today's video. Please like and subscribe if you are not already, and I will see you next Friday in my next video.